Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brandon here and welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we are doing the Golden State Warriors rebuild. They have the number two overall pick. Like I said uh, in the uh, Timberwolves rebuild video, I will be doing in order as much as I can before next gen uh, the NBA draft lottery. So if you guys missed it, we did the Timberwolves with the first overall pick. Now we got Golden State who has the number two overall pick. Golden State obviously in a very interesting situation with this team. There's a lot of, you know, obviously we know they're going to be back and we're going they're going to be a top west team. But depending on what they do with the second overall pick, there's a lot I mean there's a lot they can do. I mean they could take James Wiseman, they can take a little mellow ball. If Anthony Edwards is still there, they could take Edwards, they could trade it for a Bradley Beal. Um depending on what Philly wants to do, if Philly wants to trade Ben Simmons, or if they want to trade Embiid, um, I mean, I don't know. Victor Oladipo is out there. I don't know if I would give up the second overall pick, though, for Victor Oladipo or Drew Holiday or Chris Paul. So th they're in a very interesting situation. Obviously, with Cap, you have to pair the number two overall pick with an Andrew Wiggins um, or even, I guess, a Draymond Green. Uh, so I'm not sure what I want to do yet with this team. Part of me wants to take James Wiseman and kind of take the slow route, but Steph is already 33 years old. Ah, no, I'm going to make a trade. I wonder if I could possibly get Embiid. I don't know. We'll, we'll look at some trade options. Uh, but real quick, guys, if you guys haven't already, please do hit that like button. Subscribe. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, we are right about to hit 1100, or we might have already, um, depending on when I post this. Uh, so thank you guys for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to continue to see more rebuilds, career resims, or, you know, the league resim that I'm doing currently, um, you know, please do subscribe. Obviously, next gen, I do. Uh, I will be getting the Xbox uh, Series S. I wasn't able to get the X, but I was able to pre-order the S. Um, so I will have next-gen content on November 10th. So if you guys want to, you know, subscribe for that, please do. And uh, without further ado, let's try and make a trade here. So let's pair the second overall pick and Andrew Wiggins and see what offers we get. Now, some of these will be unrealistic. We could go after Kevin Love with the ooh, fifth overall pick and Kevin Love. I mean... I wouldn't be shocked if, if Cleveland wanted to do something like that. I don't know if Kevin... I mean, Kevin Love would kind of fit. Uh, that's interesting. Um, some of these, though, are unrealistic. Like, Devin Booker will not be traded. Um, let's see. Okay, they are offering Bradley Beal. We could go after Bradley Beal. I think that might be the most realistic one. Um... As far as the 76ers go, I mean, I went all the way around. Uh, as far as the 76ers go, we could try to go for one of these two guys. If they want to split them, they would take Andrew Wiggins and the second overall pick. I don't, I, I don't know who would they would pick. Would they pick Ben Simmons or would they take Joel Embiid? Personally, I I would keep Joel Embiid. So, let's say they want to trade Ben Simmons. They want Wiggins and Steph. Okay, uh, obviously I'm not gonna offer Steph. But what if we added the second overall pick? Um, okay, trade declined. Obviously, I don't want to force that trade. Uh, I need to fix that. Um, let's see. What if I offered? Uh, ooh, wow. Golden State has that Timberwolves pick. What if I offer that Timberwolves pick? They agreed. Okay, I'm not sure if I wanted that, but we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna take Ben Simmons um, and see what happens. Okay, so staff signing, obviously we're gonna keep Steve Kerr. Uh, we'll keep the assistant coach for now. We do need a new trainer. So let's go ahead and grab Martin here. Um, and then let's grab a better assistant GM. Let's grab Williams here. Uh, wait, what? Does he not want to? You can't make another offer. You can't make another offer to a person for the staff position today. Uh, oh, okay. So the computer already did some of it for me. Um, okay. Well, this is who I wanted. So, oh, they're not gonna sign him though. Um, let's sign the head scout then. All right, and then let's go back. Oh, that Mike Williams guy's gone. The computer screwed me. All right, let's take more then and just sign him. And uh, yeah, those were rejected. 
Let's go ahead and sign and we are all good to go with the staff. So here's how the uh, draft went. So LaMelo Ball went first. Cole Anthony went second to the 76ers. So they replaced Ben Simmons. Anthony Edwards goes third to the Hornets. Wiseman goes fourth to the Bulls. RJ Hampton goes five to the Cavs. Okunwa goes six to the Hawks. Maladin goes seven to the Pistons. Okoro goes to the Knicks. Hayes to the Wizards. Avita to the Suns. Wow. Okay, so a couple of surprises there. And we actually went ahead and took Tyler Bay in the second round with the 19, 19th overall pick. We'll go ahead and throw him in the G League. Team player options. Okay, so uh, what do we want to do here? Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, so Kevin Looney declined. Um, I'm going to accept Jordan Poole, and maybe I can use him as a trade piece later on. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And then, uh, let's see, qualifying offers, Damian Lee. I'm not going to offer Damian Lee an offer. Uh, so let's look at this roster here. So we got Steph, Ben Simmons. Now, I am going to move Ben Simmons to the three, um, which he does go up. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> so we have our point guard. We have Clay at the two. Um, we have ben Simmons at the three, Pascal and Green at the four. And then we have no center. So... We've got a lot to do here. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We got five guys. Yikes. Uh, and we probably don't have much money here. Uh, let's see. Can we afford? Okay, so we could afford someone like Cantor, Kelly Olenek. Um, Man, who do we want starting at center for this team? I wouldn't mind getting like a Markeith Morris, Myers Leonard I would love to actually get. Uh, I mean, I guess we can make some trades. Like, does anyone want Draymond? I don't think we could really get anything, though. We could get a Daniel Gafford. Kind of want to make this more realistic, though. Who would want him? Um, uh, I'm not really seeing anything that I love. Denver, you know, Denver makes kind of sense, but I don't know if I want Gary or PJ Dozier. Um, okay. Let's see here. We might just trade him next year then and just roll with this team. So, we need a center. So, I'm going to... You know what? I, first, though, you know what? I really want Kelly Olenek. Let's offer him a one-year deal, 4.5, and let's see if he takes that. And then I want to try and get a Myers Leonard. Um, let's offer him more than the minimum. All right. And then we need a backup point guard. So let's go for Reggie Jackson. Man, this is... Oh, a TJ McConnell. Hmm, I wonder... Two-year... Let's do a one-year deal, but let's offer some money. Okay, so let's see if we can get all three. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and agree to this. So Olenek, Leonard, and McConnell, we're going to go ahead and take... We're going to renounce the rights on everyone else. I would love to try and keep Kevin Looney. So we'll, I guess we can cap hold him and just see if we can hold on to him somehow. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and agree to those guys. And let's get out of uh, this three-day period. You do not have enough room to get Mars. Oh, okay, so we, go, we got on Linux and that's it. All right. So, how who can we afford at this point? Actually, you know what? I'll take a Boban. Um, and then... Um, do I want Avery Bradley? Yeah, let's take a Avery Bradley on a one-year deal. And let's look at... Oh, you know what? We can still get Myers Leonard. So, let's try and get Myers Leonard. Okay. Capo, Kevin Looney. And we get those three. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what do we need here? We need, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we got ten guys. I can maybe make some trades here. Um, do we have bird rights on? Oh, we do. Okay, let's see. Three year deal. <clears throat> so offer some money here. And then we can trade them, possibly. So, okay, so now we're in a pretty good situation. We've got 11 guys. Um, I'm gonna try maybe let's put let's try and make a trade here let's put I want to keep Pascal 
I want to keep Draymond for one more year. So uh, let's put Boban and Jordan Poole in here and see if we can get the Bucks first round pick. Actually, that might be pretty good. I might try and I might just take that. The Bucks pick might be really good because I they might lose Giannis. Um, okay, let's do that. <clears throat> let's do that. I don't know how realistic that is, but we're gonna go for it and uh, let's get to training camps. So here in training camps, I'm gonna give untapped potential to Ben Simmons. Um, and I'm, cause I'm gonna need him to get up to like a 95, 96, 97 overall if I can. Pascal is gonna be our future four, so I need to give him uh, untapped potential. And then I'm gonna give untapped potential to uh, Tyler Bay, cause I want him to be a future guard for us there. Okay, so this is gonna be my rotation here. Steph and Ben Simmons each getting 38 minutes, Clay getting 37, Pascal getting 30, Kevin Looney getting 26, Draymond, Olenek, Bradley, and Leonard all coming off the bench. So let's see how that goes. I also put uh, Tyler Bay in the G League um, and then system proficiency. Well, wow, we're a four and a half. Okay, uh, as balanced. Kevin Looney kind of messes that up. Uh, I'm curious if I put like a, uh, let's see, does anyone give me five stars here? No. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep it at, uh, we'll keep it at Kevin Looney, but there you go. Four and a half uh, system proficiency. Let's see what happens this year. Okay, so Giannis wins MVP. He actually went to the Spurs. So me making that trade for those Bucks picks actually worked out. So Giannis goes uh, and wins MVP. Lamelo Ball wins Rookie of the Year. Uh, Bull Bull wins Six Man of the Year in Denver. Oh my God. Anthony Davis wins DPOY and Kobe White wins Most Improved. Jackie Vaughn wins uh, Coach of the Year. All NBA first team we got Luca, Steph. Okay, 33, six and ten. Wow. Uh, Giannis, Anthony Davis, and Embiid. Uh, how did Embiid do without uh, Ben Simmons? 26, 13, and 2. All NBA second team, we got Chris Paul, Kyrie, LeBron, KD, Jokic. Third team, we got Ja, uh, Trey Young, Ben Simmons. Okay, 21, 7, and 8 for us. Not bad. Zion and Towns, all defensive first team. We did not get anyone on any of the defensive teams. Okay, so here we go. We are the three seed in the West. San Antonio is the one seed. Denver's the four. Memphis is five, Dallas is six, Minnesota. Minnesota is the second overall pick. Lamel or uh, team. Wow. Okay, that worked out for them. Um, all right, so let's see what happens. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and look at our player stats here. Uh, so obviously, Steph led the team in scoring. Clay was second. Ben Simmons was third. Pascal, fifteen and five a game, not bad. Olenek, nine and four. Uh, Looney, seven and seven. Uh, Draymond. Five, four, and four. Triple, Mr. Triple single there. Uh, so, eh, team stats. Uh, points per game, we were first. Points allowed, we were uh, like 13th. So, not horrible. Point differential, we were second. Um, okay. So, let's go ahead and see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate. So, game one goes to Dallas. They have Luca, obviously. DeMar DeRozan. And Sergi, okay, all right, all right, they got Demar. Um, let's go ahead. Game two, we take game two. Uh, game three, uh, they take game three. Come on, come on, don't, don't lose this. Oh my God, they take game four. <sighs> Can we force a game six? Uh, well, we are down by six, and that will do it. We get eliminated in the first round. Okay, well, we have a lot of work to do with this team. As San Antonio wins the NBA championship, Giannis wins finals MVP. Uh, player retirements, okay. Draft lottery, we might actually get a really good pick here. Uh, we do. Oh, we have Indiana's pick. Interesting, how did we get that? When I thought we had the Bucks picks. Okay, well we have the second best odds of getting the first overall pick. And we get fourth. Okay, I, I will gladly take the fourth overall pick. Um, that's nice. Okay, so I put Draymond, Kevin Looney, the 4th pick, and the 27th pick in the trade finder. We could get pick 6 and Tobias Harris. We could get Eric Bledsoe. Um, ooh, we could get Andre Drummond. That works really well. That would be nice. Uh, we could get Jalen Brown and Hassan Whiteside. Clint Capella. McDonovich. Dinwiddie. De'Aaron Fox. Um, Halliburton. The fifth overall pick in Dennis Schroeder. D'Angelo Russell. We could get pick three from Portland. 
Hmm. Okay. I think I, I need a big, man. I need a big. And we need to win now. So I'm going to take Andre Drummond. We're going to take Draymond or trade Draymond Green away. We're going to trade the fourth overall pick away. Trade Kevin Looney. We get a backup point guard in Monte Morris, which I will take. Um, so yeah, let's make that deal. Um, I don't think we have any picks or we might have a second round pick. Um, but yeah, I, I like that deal. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and accept Tyler Bay's player option. He's up to a 76 overall. I'm, I think I'm going to send him to the G League one more year. Uh, we'll see. We are going to extend a qualifying offer to Eric Pascal. Um, not one to Dwayne Bacon. And then uh, here in free agency, um, uh, Steph is a free agent. But if we keep him, so that's one, two, three, uh, four, five. Okay, so we need we need to bring Pascal back. So that would be six. Let's, uh, man. Okay, so we need a backup power four. We need a backup center. Okay, so what I went ahead and did, I signed Jeremy Lamb, Kelly Olenek, Boban, um, and yeah, that's about it. I put untapped potential on Ben Simmons one more time. I'm going to put untapped potential on Tyler Bay, and I am going to put, oh, what do I want to do here? I want to put, uh, let's do perimeter defense and give that to Steph. Um, that should at least help out our defense a little bit more. Okay, so this is the rotation I'm gonna go with. Clay Thompson is regressing big time. He's down to an 87 overall. Uh, but we're gonna go Steph, Clay, Ben Simmons, Pascal, Drummond, Morris, Bay, Lamb, and Olenek. I feel like this might be our last real legit chance. So we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see, system proficiency. We are at four and a half. So I don't think there's gonna be really anything better. No, four and a half balance, pretty good. And let's see what happens this season. Okay, so we go 66 and 16 after year number two. Giannis wins MVP once again. Kate Cunningham wins Rookie of the Year. Mobamba wins six man. DPOY is Giannis. Akunwu wins most approved. And we get Coach of the Year, Steve Kerr. Uh, 66 and 16. Steph Curry is on the All NBA First Team, 26 points per game, 10 assists, of four rebounds per game. Uh, no one on, no one else on the first team. Uh, second team, we did not get anyone. And a third team, uh, we did not get anyone either. All defensive first team, though, we got Andre Drummond, 18, 17 per game, two steals and a block and a half. And then on the second team, we did not get anyone on that team. So we are the number one seed. Let's go ahead and look at how everyone did here. Steph, 26 per game, 10 assists, four rebounds. Ben Simmons, 27 and 7. Drummond, 18, uh, 18 and 17. Clay Thompson, 17, uh, 2 and 3. Pascal had a good year, 15 and 4. I'll take that. Monte off the bench, 9 and 6 assists. Pretty good. Lamb, 8 points. Uh, Tyler Bay, 6 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists. His per 36, 10 and 10 and 3. Eh, okay. Kind of need him to get better. He's at a 79 overall. I kind of wish I put him in the G League one more year, but that's all right. Team stats, we are second in scoring, and we are the third best defensive team, uh, at least points allowed. And we had the highest point differential. So I will gladly take that. We're playing New Orleans though. We have Brandon Knight, Alexander Walker, Brandon Ingram, Zion, Rudy Gobert, Jackson Hayes, Jalen Johnson, Luke Kennard. Okay, so I, I feel like we can we can win the series. Uh, we should win the series, but we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead. Yep, we are up 3-0. And okay, it's 3-2. Uh, what is happening? Okay, we won in six. Now we play... The LA Lakers, um, who have Fred Van Vliet, Kevin Huter, LeBron, AD, Mike Muscala. Okay, I mean, I feel like we should be able to beat them. We are up 1-0. Um, game two goes to us, okay. Game three goes to us, all right. And, okay, we lose game four, and we win game five. Okay, so now we are on to the Western Conference Finals. The Memphis Grizzlies, John Morant, Marcus Smart, Gordon Hayward, Jaron Jackson, Montrose Harrell, Brandon Clark, Zaire Williams, Malik Beasley, Dylan Brooks. This is a pretty good team. Game one goes to Memphis. Game two goes to us. Okay, we need game three, man. We need, oh, we lost game three. All right, let's jump in the simcast for these. Game four, Memphis is up early and now they're up by 10, up by 10 and they take a three one lead okay game four uh golden state has come back from 3-1 in the western conference finals before and we are gonna win game five 
All right, that was a big one. We gotta win game six. If we win game six, we win the series. I feel like we're up by eight, um, up by nine, up by one. Oh my gosh, we're down by one. 41 seconds to go. All right, let's go ahead and watch this thing. See if we can win it. Uh, I, I don't, I don't have any sound, which is kind of weird, but we'll let it play out. Memphis with the ball. Uh, 40 seconds to go. Malik drives to the left. Step back. No good. Drummond with the rebound. All right. Good defense. Good defense. Good rebound by Drummond. Up ahead to Ben Simmons. Simmons drives left. Oh, he's got that dunk. We take a one-point lead. All right. 26 seconds to go. Memphis takes a timeout. Player of the game is Clay Thompson. Wow. Uh, okay. 27 points per game. Game six. Clay loves game six. All right. Here we go. We're up by one. We just got to get one more stop. Come on. One more stop. Double jaw. Oh. Oh. Steal. Monte comes up with a massive steal. 19 seconds to go. And he's going to the free throw line. Oh, what a steal by Monte. Hits the first. And Monte hits the second. Three point lead. 19 seconds to go. They can still tie this game up. Gotta play good defense once again. Here we go. John Morant with the ball. He's gonna drive left floater no good clark oh my god we got a rebound guys one point game another timeout all right so ben uh or ben yeah ben simmons passing it in nine seconds to go monte gets uh fouled steph by the way did foul out so that's why he's not in the game uh but monte hits the first and he hits the second okay good free throws there Three-point game. They can still tie this game up. Seven seconds. Six seconds. Over to Hayward for three. No good. Rebound to Drummond. And that will do it. We have a game seven. Back to Golden State. Okay, so here we go. Game seven. I accidentally did the SimCast live, so I'm in the SimCast now. Here we go. In Golden State. Can we win game seven after being down 3-1? And, oh, wow. It's a blowout. Yep. We're up by 19 and up oh what up by okay no we're we're up by 14 never mind i thought that was a lot closer than it was boom there it is uh let's look, go ahead and look at the box score steph puts up 25 15 pascal 22 and 4 simmons 18 6 and 4 drummond 12 17 and that will do it we are on to the nba finals in year number two we are playing the atlanta hawks of trey young paul george deandre hunter robert covington and okonwu Cameron coming off the bench. That's a pretty good team. All right. So here we go. Game one goes to us. Game, actually, you know what? I'm going to simcast these. Game two. Once again in Golden State, Atlanta. Okay, we're in a tough, uh, close game here. Uh, two point game, three point game. Oh, shoot. I sim too far. Uh, okay, this series is tied at one. Simcast here for game three. Uh, we're up by two in the third. Uh, late five point game in the fourth, 10 point game, 11 point game, and that will do it for that one. We take a 2 1 lead. Game three, Atlanta has the lead, and they're up by 19. Yikes, up by 20. Yeah, we lost that one. Okay, so tied at two. Game five, probably the biggest game here. Atlanta, oh my god, Atlanta with the big lead. You've got to be kidding me. 13 point game 15 point game game six here we go in atlanta we need this win uh and wow we we might get it uh we're up by 18 up by 11 up by 11 and that should do it boom game six goes to us game seven okay so game seven here we go we're at home nba finals come on can we come back we are down three to two i believe um so we're up by 11 up by 10 uh, entering the fourth we're up by 13 all right a minute 25 there we go 136 to 115 and that will do it we win the nba finals oh steph wins finals mvp 29 points per game 10 assists four rebounds at age 35 we got one the big addition was andre german that was huge and uh player retirements okay so no one re retires i'll try and run it back to maybe win back to back but Clay is regressing. I, I think that was really our last chance, but let's see what happens. So I just simulated the NBA draft. Imani Bates goes number one overall to the Houston Rockets. 
uh, rookie signings. I am going to go ahead and decline, uh, decline and decline both of those. Team player options. Uh, we have this Tyro Terry guy. Um, man, I should put this guy in. I should have played him in the G League. I'll go ahead and accept him. Uh, we probably won't use him though. Qualifying offers. We're gonna send a qualifying offer to Tyler Bay, Eric Pascal. Uh, we we definitely need these two if we're gonna repeat. Hopefully Tyler Bay can get maybe up to an 81, 82 overall uh, after player progression. So let's go ahead and look at this roster. So we have one. Let's try and re-sign Monte if we can. Two, three, four. Okay. Wow. We have we have a lot of re-signing to do. All right. Bird rights. Ooh. Okay. We can't get Monte. Shoot. That sucks. Okay. Well, let's bring back Pascal. Um. All right. Well, cap hold. I don't think we'll be able to bring back Monte Morris though, unfortunately. That's a big, big loss. Oh wait, we can. He's affordable. Ooh, you know what? Let's offer a four-year deal and let's try and keep him. Uh. Okay. Boom. Let's do that. So we're gonna match Pascal. Perfect. Agree to Monte. Capo Tyler Bay. Renounce everyone else. Um. All right. And then. We sent a qualifying offer to Tyler Bay. So let's look at the rest of our roster then. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. If we keep Tyler Bay, that's seven. Uh, he was a two, right? So let's try and grab a center or a power forward and then maybe a three. Okay, so we made a couple of moves. We went ahead, re-signed Monte. Uh, we got Tyler Bay back on the qualifying offer. We signed uh, Alex Len. We signed Caruso, Kleber, um, I mean, we just gotta hope that, uh, you know, the top end of our team does great. Ben Simmons is up to 97 overall, so he is now right there with, you know, Steph as our best player uh, on the team. Okay, so this is the rotation. We're going Steph, Clay, Simmons, Pascal, Drummond, same as uh, last year. And then Monte, Tyler Bay, Alex Len, and Maxi Kleber. So that's what we're going with. Let's see what happens. System proficiency, we are still at a four and a half. So, year number three, let's see what happens. At 36 years old, in year 15, Steph Curry just won MVP. We go 64 and 18, 31, 5 and 11 from Steph. Bates wins Rookie of the Year. Kim Walker is the Sixth Man of the Year. DPOY goes to Giannis. Uh, Jonathan uh, Kunert, Kunert uh, most improved, and obviously Steve Kerr wins Coach of the Year. So uh, no one else on All NBA First Team other than Steph. Second team, we did not get anyone. Third team, we did not get anyone. All defensive first team, we got Andre Drummond, who averaged 16 and 14 per game. Uh, and uh, Ben Simmons on the all defensive second team, 22, 7, and 7. Uh, we are the number one seed. Let's look at our uh, stats for uh, everyone. Ben Simmons, 22, 7, 7. Clay averaged 18 and 3. Drummond, 16 and 14. Pascal, 15 and 4. Monte, 8 and 6. Um, Bay, 7, 5, and 2. I wish he was a little bit better, um, but hey, I mean, coming off the bench, getting, giving us seven points, I'll take it. Team stats, uh, points per game, we were first. Points allowed, we were second. Okay, point differential was better than last year. Not bad. We're playing the San Antonio Spurs, though, who have Giannis. Uh, no one really else, but they have Giannis and DeJounte Murray and this Vassal guy. How are they at an eight seed? What the heck? Um, okay, well, I hope I don't lose in round one. We are up 2-0, we are up 3-0, and we went 4-1. Okay, I'll take that. Now we're playing the Rookie of the Year, Imani Bates. They have Russell Westbrook, Tyler Johnson, Jabari Park. They have Nikola Jokic. Uh, we're up 2-0, and we, wow, we swept them. That, though, that team's going to be a dangerous team next year, in the couple next couple of years. Good thing we are not going past this season. Um, Denver is in the conference finals. Jamal Murray. Oh my god. Jamal Murray is going insane. Um, but they don't really have much else. What happened to Denver? Um, <laughs> okay, so let's go. They're, they're, they're up 3 2. Uh, okay, well, they're a team that's just on fire, apparently, here in the playoffs. Um, and we are luckily going to win and force a game seven. The Miami Heat are waiting for whoever wins this game in the NBA Finals. Here we go. Denver versus Golden State in the Conference Finals. We're up by 10. 
Um, and now up by 7, up by 14, and that will do it. We make it to the NBA Finals in back-to-back -back years. Uh, the Miami Heat with Lewis Jr., Tyler Heroes in 86. Overall, Jimmy Butler's in 89. They have Jimmy... They have... They have Jason Tatum. And Bam. Okay. Good team. Crap. <laughs> That's a really good team. Game one goes to us. Um, actually, let me go ahead and some cast. Game two in Golden State. So we do have the better record. Uh, we are... Okay, we're blowing them out here in game two. That's good. That's good. Game three in Miami. Uh, we had an early lead. Uh, we're down by one. Down by two. Uh, down by two again. And down by six. Okay, so Miami's going to win that one. Uh, we're up two to one. Game... What is this? Game four. And wow, we're going to blow them out. Yeah, we blew them out in that one. So we're up 3-1. Can we finish this thing in five at home? Here we go. Uh, and yeah. Oh, no. They came back. Down. We're up by five. Seven and a half minutes ago. Up by 11. Up by five. And we win it. Whew. Okay. So we win a back-to-back -back NBA title. Steph finishes an MVP year with the finals MVP. 34 points per game. Four rebounds. And 14 assists. Oh, man, I really want to see. You know what? I'll skip to the playoffs, but let, let's see what happens. Okay, so real quick, one last year. Steph uh, led the team in scoring 27, 4, and 9. Simmons, 19, 7, and 7. Clay, 18, and 3. Drummond, 18, and 17. Pascal, 15, and 5. Pretty much the same thing. Um, this Tyro Terry guy, though, got pretty good. 9 points and 3 assists. Uh, wow, it's per 36, 20, and 7. So, not bad. Um, let's go ahead and just simulate. We are playing the Memphis Grizzlies. And we win that one. Now playing the San Antonio Spurs, who have Giannis, DeJounte Murray. They have Buddy Heald, apparently. Let's go ahead and assume this one. We win that one. Now playing Luka, who won MVP, by the way. Uh, and Porzingis. They have Tristan Thompson as well. And we beat them in six. Now in Chicago, can we three-peat? They have Lonzo, Zach Levine, Tobias Harris, James Wiseman. Pretty good team. We're up 3-1. And we win it. We three-peat. Steph, 28 five nine assists at age 37 this dude is not aging that's the video guys we three-peated i'm happy with that hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see more of these rebuilds hit that like button comment down below what you guys want to see as of right now i am going in order so next will be charlotte uh so you know if you guys have any ideas on who they should pick let me know in the comments below other than that guys check out the uh nba uh random history uh resimulation series that i'm doing uh that's posted every other day um and if you guys want please do subscribe uh we should be at 1100 subscribers or at least pretty close so thank you guys for subscribing um but next gen is coming out very soon so if you guys want a ton of that content from myself it's not just gonna be simulations it's gonna be a lot of um i'm also gonna do uh some my player stuff uh you know neighborhood stuff or whatever they call it this year world whatever i don't know uh city i don't know what it's gonna be called but um, yeah, definitely going to be doing some of those uh, player build videos, all that stuff. So as well as simulation videos. So um, yeah, subscribe if you guys want to see that. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.